Aloha, Aria here with the Silvana podcast, how to understand my intuition and my higher guides more clearly. And here's why I want to share this with you. This is really the thing that comes up for most everybody who is spiritual, that we try to understand what our higher self is saying or what our guides are saying. And then our mind comes in and says, oh my gosh, you know, this is not true or you're making this up. And then we're confused. Have you ever had that confusion happening in your life? Have you wondered, how can I understand what is my ego telling me or what's my higher self telling me? So there's another episode about ego and understanding when your ego talks and your higher self talks. That's also here on Silvana by me. But right now I want to share with you how you can decipher the messages and how you can actually fine tune your hearing, your listening and your sensing so that you get the messages right. Okay, now one thing I want you to know is you're using not the normal sense, like, you know, your ears or your eyes, you're using an inner sense. And I want to share with you where you're already using that sense so you can become more familiar with it. So when you think of a person that you, for example, love, how do you know you love them? There's a certain feeling, right? Now, if you feel that feeling, if you tune into it and you now think about that feeling, try to think about that feeling, and you try to decipher where you're actually feeling it in the body, that you love them, and now you try to put a number on how much do you love them, that probably becomes difficult, yeah? Why does it become difficult? Because you're using a sense, which is the love sense, and then you're putting your mind and basically a barometer that judges the, the actual frequency and the amount of feeling on it that is not a match. Yeah. So what am I saying by that? I'm saying if you use your thinking mind in order to understand something that cannot be thought, that can only be sensed, then you're using the wrong tool. Yeah. That is as if I would probably, for example, try to measure somebody's temperature and I would be using maybe just a towel and touch them with the towel. I could not find out what their temperature is. Yeah. Because the temperature doesn't even come to my hand. Yeah. There's something blocking it. And that's what happens when we use our thinking mind and trying to decipher what the messages are. And we often do that. Now, even worse does it get if we use a doubtful attitude. Yeah. If I'm doubting that I'm getting it right, then it's gone. And I can give you an example for that. If somebody gives you a bouquet of flowers and they're coming from full love and you receive it in gratitude, then you get the full benefit. Yeah. Now, let's say they're coming from full love and you receive it with doubt. And you say, well, I don't know that they're sincere. They probably want something from me. That's why they're giving me the flowers or they think they have to. How much of that energy of the flowers do you actually receive? It's gone, right? You might as well throw the flowers into the garbage. It's gone. And so doubt will kill everything, yeah? Doubt is only good to use when you actually have something that's logical and that your logical mind is needed to work with. And if your logical mind is needed, then you can use doubt and only use doubt for a tiny moment just to make a decision that you're going to find out more details about that topic. Yeah. And then the doubt is gone and you're already exploring. That's the use of doubt. It's not to be used when you're working in the higher realms or with your intuition. You cannot use it. Now I want to share a secret with you that's really amazing and it has made it totally work for me. And the secret is... What are you actually tuning into when you're hearing higher light messages? Messages from your angels, your higher self, or your intuition, that is. You're tuning into a vibration, yeah? The same vibration that you can emit when you love somebody, you want to be with somebody, or when they come into the room and you sense them before they're actually there, yeah? Or the same quality that you use when you're kind of sensing if it's good for you to go out tonight or not. Yeah, you're using a sensory faculty within you, okay? 
Now, when you're using that, you are tuning into a vibration, right? Where does that vibration come from? And that is the secret. A vibration can only be sensed if it is here, if it is already in the room with you, yeah? So the vibration comes from you asking for something. You ask, for example, your higher self, is it good for me to go out with this person, yeah? So now you're sending a request. As you send this request, the answer is automatically delivered to you. That's how the universe works. It always has to balance itself out. What goes out comes back. So you're already in the answer. The answer comes to you as a vibrational field. Yeah. Now, if you are now sensing something like, oh my God, I don't think it's the right thing to do. And then you start thinking about that you're probably going to dispel that thought and you're going to go out anyway because it makes sense or they're waiting for you, blah, blah, blah. So that's the thing I ask you not to. Yeah, Don't doubt it. Don't think about it. But you are sensing it. Let's go back to that moment. You send out the question. You got a sense, oh, it's probably not the right thing to do or it's the right thing to do. It doesn't matter. It's just an example. So you got that sense. Where is that sense coming from? That sense is coming from you sending out the question and receiving the answer. And as you're receiving the answer and you're sensing into something, it has to be there. Otherwise, you wouldn't be feeling it. And that's the secret. So if I go up to the higher self, for example, and ask for somebody any question, and then something comes to mind that's kind of random for me, it has to be in the field. Otherwise, I couldn't get it into my mind. I couldn't sense it and make sense of it by thinking about it, yeah? So if you're thinking of your grandpa all of a sudden, you're not just thinking of them randomly. You can only think of them because their vibration all of a sudden was in your field and you sensed it and your mind made sense of it and connected the dots. That is the vibration of grandpa. So now I'm thinking of grandpa. But it really means that the energy of grandpa was with you in that moment, yeah? And that could have several reasons. Either he came, you know, or his higher self came and was thinking of you. That's the most likely one. Or you were subconsciously thinking of him and calling him in or several other reasons. But what I'm saying to you is as soon as you feel something, sense something or think of something, it must be because there is a vibration that matches that thought and that sense in your field. And if that vibration is in your field, then that is evidence that that is actually a message that you're getting. Yeah? So that's the secret. The message is coming to you. And how you know it is because you think of it, you feel into it. There's a sense about it. And when you have that sense, your next step is not to doubt it and not to think about it, but say, oh, that's curious. That's interesting. I'm getting that sense. So that must be a message. Yeah. And the more you practice that, the more you start trusting that there is a message about that, the more curious you become what that message actually means. Yeah. The more you clearly you get those messages. Okay. Good. So now I want you to practice. Please go ahead. Practice. And the way you practice is a very fun way of practicing is just going into meditation and saying to your higher self, higher self, I would love to start connecting with you. Or you say to your guides, you know, higher guides, I would love to connect with you. Angels, I'd love to connect with you. Send me messages. And then you can ask a particular question. And it's good to ask the same question every day over and over and just tune into it until you're more clear of what the message is. So let's say you're asking that question about how you can be more abundant. How can I be more abundant? Yeah. And then you tune into it. And then you're getting a sense of ease, for example. Oh, gosh, relax. Then your higher self is saying, first, you need to relax. Then you're going to go and book a massage or ask a friend if they want to exchange a session with you or you take a bath and relax. Yeah. Don't doubt it. Then you go again next morning or an hour later and you say, how can I be more abundant? And you get a sense as if 
You just need to express more your gift. You need to do go online and send a post to people. Express more of who you are. Well, don't doubt it. Just go and express and share from your heart. Short, yeah? Next thing, you ask again, how can I be more abundant? And just go with these hunches. And if your mind goes, comes in the way and says, oh, you're making this up. You're totally, it doesn't make sense. What are you, you're wasting your time. You're going to tell your mind how I did it is I told my mind. I'm not saying you have to, but it's just a suggestion. You tell your mind that you're just making it up. I'm just making this up, you know. Yes, you're right. I'm just making this up. Then your mind will relax and you go along. That's how I did it over three years when I started my healings. I told my mind I'm making it up because really it was so hard to believe for my mind that all of this is happening and I would have been talked out of it in no time. So that was my trick. So here I shared a few secrets with you and a trick and I hope you can work with it. Tell me how it works and let us know here and maybe rate my podcast. I would love that and see you in the next podcast also. Lots of love to you and keep sharing your light. Aloha.